Okay, I had a um, brother send me this video, longtime friend of the ministry, I've known him for a while, and he talks about the testimony of Catholic Edward PF123. You can see the video there, and uh, let's play it. Okay, Ed, well, it's a great delight to have this opportunity to speak to you today. Uh, for those that don't know, Edward has a. Okay, uh, this is a conversation from Ex Catholics for Christ. Uh, Actually, you know what? I'm going to just go down here, and uh, we're actually going to look at it. It's right there. Okay, Ed. Well, it's a great delight to have this opportunity to speak to you today. Uh, for those that don't know, Edward has a, a YouTube channel called Edward PF One Two Three. Uh, to date, he has produced about 36 videos, and uh, before he started posting videos. He left some very interesting and edifying comments on uh, some of our videos. So, Edward, it's nice to speak to you today, brother. Very nice to speak to you too, also, James. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, now, just before we start this little interview, I'd like to get a bit of background as to how you became a Christian. How did it all begin for you, Ed? Okay. Now, pay very close attention to what Ed Fenninger says here. Mr. Anybody who teaches repentance or changed life is teaching Lordship Salvation. Listen to his salvation testimony. Well, actually, I was raised in the Mormon Catholic Church and got saved very young uh, when I heard the basic principles of the Gospel from the Mormon Catholic Church. Uh, Jesus Christ is the Son of God and He died for my sins on the cross. And uh, fortunately, I'd gotten out before they started mixing up with a lot of works. Uh, oh, okay. So, Ed just admitted that he got saved from the gospel that the Roman Catholic Church presents at a, quote, very young age, a childhood conversion. Oh boy. That's why these types of guys, Ed Fenninger, Stephen Anderson, they were you know, converted just as a two-year-old or something, or very, very young age. They haven't even reached the age of accountability yet. They don't even know what sin is. So they have their salvation experience, and then they count on that for the rest of their life, and they go on, and they can live like the devil. He's a sports idolater, you know, probably among other things. And he has absolutely no conviction about just totally lying about preachers that are preaching the gospel, about being born again, about the changed life that comes about as a result of true conversion. See? That's why guys like this call... Preachers like me, and Greg Miller as well, he calls us Lordship Salvationists because he's never truly been born again. His salvation experience, he just said it came from the Roman Catholic Church. And then he talks about, you know, I didn't get it mixed up with the works that came after that. Well, a lot of the works that the Catholics do are actually very, very good. There's a lot of very moral Catholics out there. They're doing it for the wrong reason. They're doing it to merit their salvation. I'll grant you that. But the, the whole thing is, a lot of Catholics out there are very turned off to Baptist-type salvation because they see these guys living absolutely wickedly and saying, I'm eternally secure, I'm eternally secure, and you are eternally secure if you're truly saved, but they don't see the chastisement that should come, the punishment that should come from the Lord on somebody that's messing around in sin. And a lot of Catholics will see these absolutely totally hypocritical Baptists just doing horrible wicked stuff and going I'm eternally secure I'm saved I put my faith in Jesus I believed and the Catholic goes this doesn't make any sense there has to be some kind of a changed life they understand that I mean who better than a Catholic to understand that you get a Roman Catholic that truly gets born again their whole life changes they got family turning against them. They got people threatening them and all kinds of stuff. If you're a saved Catholic, a really saved one, not like this one, but a really saved Catholic, you understand that. Your life changed dramatically when you got saved. So, right there, that's his salvation experience. A very young age in the Catholic Church. He's a false convert. Right there. <laughs> 